so let's go check out the Springville Museum of Art. So, my last video ended with... The Holy Farmer. The farm worker. You know, on the consciousness farm. Holy Harvest. Yeah. This one is called Insect 2022. And we're going to go back to that and read the description. But what I want you to notice is the very human features. Those are feet. Those are hands, human hands. I shouldn't touch it. I'll, I'll just point without touching. <laughs> so now you can see the layout of what you're looking at. Those must be the eyes. All right? I'm going to talk about this here in a minute so I don't sound so crazy right here in front of the lady at the front desk. But this was apparently an award winner, Art Director's Award. Received the Art Director's Award. So I'm gonna grab, a, just take another look at it. You can pause it and zoom in if you want. So, Mother Nature has the greatest, has the greatest creations. All we can do is mimic, large or small, each is worthy of our admiration. Insects deserve our love and admiration, for each one is an individual in its design. This insect came from my sketchbook and imagination, making it very individual. Remember that part about how insects deserve our love and admiration? And the fact that this is nacho, it's a nacho insect. Nacho ordinary insect with very human features. Okay? Keep that in mind for a minute. So I'm going to talk more about that in a minute, that no matter what kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, or species, consciousness comes in all vessels. And we're on a consciousness farm. I'm going to take you up and show you some of these up close. But just the magnitude of the, the work that goes into these. We'll check them out up close. But it's hard to get away from the normies. Long enough to show you what's in them. So the last time I came here and showed you the quilts, Year of the Mask was the title of one of them that I thought was the most impressive. Again, that's Year of the Mask. <laughs> it said, be yourself, because acting like someone else is exhausting. So I'll take you through and show you some more of the gravy that I've found on my first walkthrough. It'll take me a minute to spot the stuff again. But before I show you the close-up gravy, I'm just going to give you a general. Look at the three dimension that they put into that. This is high-level art, not some old bags with crochet needles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And most of it's done by the Relief Society, AKA Order of the Eastern Star. Remember that? We're gonna go over there in a minute. <laughs> Since I've got this room empty right now and I really wanna bloviate about this one, I'll show you these real quick and then tell you about the family reunion because that's what I went to Missouri for 
I told that cop I'm there for a wedding, and I'm with the father of the bride. And I told him I was going to go to Jacomo Campground, but I didn't have the 15 bucks. But I did go up to the front gate on the intercom, <clears throat> tell them I'm there for the Christ Family Reunion. And they repeated, they said, Christ Family Reunion? I said, yeah. They said, no, we don't have any of this. Here, I said, is the McLeans, have they arrived yet? Because I met a dude named Adam Thomas McLean, ATM. They said, no, no McLeans either. Why don't you just wait at the lake for your friends? And uh, when they get here, then you can come in. I said, okay. <laughs> I was trying to get my way into Jacomo Campground for the Christ Family Reunion. Because that's what's coming. If you teach your children where they come from, they will know who they are, not where they are, who they are. And we have no clue where we come from. Kolob, Elohim, and the law of eternal progression. As man is, God once was, and as God is, man may become. Is who you are, where you come from, and where you're going. We are who we are because they were who they were. Remember me in the family tree, my name, my days, my strife? Then I'll ride upon the wings of time and live an endless life. And they're about to create some memories for humanity, the capstone event, the crescendo, when they restore the eight months of my video and it goes viral. They are going to remember me in the wings of time and I will live an endless life. We'll talk more about that when I'm not here in the middle of the museum. But that's what that means. And the human family tree is going to remember me. It's about to be legendary. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. Eventually, they're going to know who's right. Can't stand the heat, then just stay out the light. But you might never make it out alive. You gotta live without a compromise. Let everybody hear your battle cry. So I'll just read this real quick and then get back to that insectilian that we started this video with. Our family is like a patchwork quilt, kindly and gently sewn. Each piece is an original with beauty all its own. With threads of warmth and happiness, it's tightly stitched together to last in love throughout the years. Our family is forever. So there was a time at which, in some of my videos, I was telling you that, uh, encouraging you to warm up to and stop being a human supremacist and an anti-reptide, and that you have a lot more in common with reptilians than insectilians, that they are vertebrates and have skin where insects have an exoskeleton and a shell. But if we discriminate within that kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, or species based on the vessel rather than the consciousness within, then it's counterproductive to the, ha the plan of happiness. God does not prefer humans over reptiles or over insects. It is consciousness that that holy farmer is cultivating. And it comes in all shapes and sizes and the entire kingdom of heaven has arrived. So, reptilians, insectilians, and you funny looking primates are all welcome in the kingdom of heaven. Unless you have that xenophobia where you think you're better because of your kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, or species, then you're not welcome because the kingdom of heaven pursues consciousness. And love does not discriminate. And love is the highest form of consciousness. Family ties are precious threads no matter where we roam. They draw us close to those we love and pull our hearts towards home. This goes toward the music video Schism by Tool that I referenced in a recent video that says cold silence has a tendency to atrophy any sense of compassion. Reunion, the act of uniting, the state of being united once again, a gathering of relatives after separation, a family reunion. That song, Schism, is referring to a family reunion.
and cold silence has a tendency to atrophy any sense of compassion. So when you see God, run up and give him a hug and kiss. So this one was started in 2013, and it's the best of show, and it represents ooh, family tree. And there is so much going on here that you gotta look real close. On the left hand side of that X is a skull and crossbones. On the right, on the left is the skull and crossbones. On the right is the owl. And that X can be seen on the hand of Imagine Dragons in multiple of their videos. It's also used by Ed Sheeran on his album cover. But I'm sure if you ask soft-minded people taking a hardline stance on things they don't understand, it's just all evil. And let me back out and show you how small that is. Here, that's how small it is compared to my fingernail. Again, there it is. Sorry, the light went out, or you'd have been able to track it as we backed away. So, as you can see, there is so much detail. You could spend a week looking over this quilt and still not see all that went into it. And you can see that just by this representation alone. And I can't hardly get it to focus that close. I see so many people walk up, take a glance, and walk away. And my heart goes out to the person who poured their heart and soul into this. I know how they feel. It's like my plasma fire videos and four years worth of work that I've contributed. And knowing that no one recognizes it, no one acknowledges it. The people that pour their heart and soul into this, they could never extract the value from the public in the form of money that relates to the passion they poured into it. So I had to move along because the crying baby and my nerves are a little bit frazzled right now. But can you see the tree over here? We'll be seeing more of that type of imagery. Much like the previous time we came to the library and showed you that type of imagery. Okay, the Jabberwocky is gone. Whew. But just look at some of this art. Before we go back in for more truth drops, because you got the biggest truth drop right from the beginning. I came in strong right out the gate. But this is just high level art, I can't say it enough. It doesn't do it justice to see it through the camera, I'm sure. I mean, look at this one. You can look clear down into that one, like a square portal that goes back in. You see these patterns right here, surrounding this circle? Do I even need to say it? Aronike Iris Bay. As well as right here. And you would normally think, no, that's not what that represents. Until... You see that right there. And... Wait for it. 
we got those up there, this version of it here, and more of them right here. That is an image we've seen over the last couple of years, a bunch. And the last time I was here, I showed you the Year of the Mask quilt, which shows that they're ahead of their time. The ladies that are making these order the Eastern Star. So when you see that, that's what that is. This might be a twirling Sufi, a whirling dervish. Look at the legs. Look at the position on the legs, as if spinning a circle. Anyway, that was just something I noticed right now as I'm filming, so. You cannot stop the rain, no, no. Holding an umbrella when the great clouds come over again. Pretending the weather's all in my mind, you got no one to blame. There it is again. And who fell like lightning from heaven? There it is again. Who was that? That fell like lightning from heaven? And, wait for it, wait for it. But just to recap what I went over just now. I gotta back way up just to get this whole thing in the camera, in the field of view. So there is a lot going on there and most people walk by, take a glance and walk on. It's weird. Very, 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 very weird. Where was it up there? I saw one up there, that's where we started. Oh yeah. So we got there. You feel me? Ain't nobody else here catching this. Doesn't seeing that just make you want to go wash your hands? After all the operant conditioning, Pavlovian operant conditioning. Admit it, it does. You're running to go wash your hands right now. You know it's true. Pretending the gravy's all in my mind, you got no one to blame. So we got a little bit more of this pattern here that represents masons, along with the circle and the square all over that represents the square and the compass. Checkerboard, stripes, square and circle. That's a calling card if you know what you're looking at. But if you're just one of those jive turkeys, you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> okay, now that the jabberwocky's gone, I'm just going to show you there's a lot of keys and locks and crowns and spiders. Um, there's one. And there's a key. And there's one of those evil owls. We'll see a couple more of those before the day is over. There's a key, key and a crown. 
There's the fleur de lis. Another spider in the midst of a web. Another key. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed you this key, but when I was showing you that one, I missed that one. Grandma's not touching, she's pointing. Another fleur de lis. There's quite a few dragonflies. There's one. Here's one. Back over to this first corner. It's pretty rare that it gets pretty So, back over here, where we're showing you that dragonfly. And that dragonfly. We also have that spider. Yeah. And that spider. Now remember, this is all representations of their families and their family trees. You can read over that on your own time. We got, we got, we're burning gravy. We got to get the gravy. Ladle, ladle. So I don't know if we showed that one yet. That might be a, a re, a rehash. There's a few butterflies too. Butterflies. But I think the dragonflies and the spiders and the crowns and the keys and locks. These mean things that you're not aware of. So did we show this owl? I'm pretty sure that ain't the one we showed already. We showed a different owl. And I know you've been made to be scared of that. Fleur de lis. A lock. There's the typical Mormon beehive and the bees. More keys and locks. Two keys, two locks. Right? And another crown. Right? And there's another lock. And there's a heart. And when I went to Missouri, there was a locksmith. And on the back of their van, it said, We're the people you can trust with the keys to your home. So I walked up and said, hey, I heard you guys are the ones I can trust with the keys to my home. My home. He said, yeah, that's right. Said, yeah, I'm, uh, I just joined God's army recently and uh, looking out, for, out there looking for my marching orders. Oh yeah, God's army did something for a friend of mine once. Let's go in here and see if we can get you the parts you need. Okay, let's do it. And away we went. Hold on, I think I might have the flash on. No, no flash. For some reason it's not, the lighting on that isn't coming through, but obviously that's a spider and there's another key. And there's another key. That's way above where I can reach though. And this stuff up top, you can't hardly even get up there to be able to see. Remember what we started this video with? Saying that you should love them. And you would expect to see the honeybee. That's a typical thing for the Utahns, for the Mormons. 
You can call me Queen Bee and baby I'll rule ya. That's from the song Royals by Lord. So I think we've got another Fleur de Lis down here. I don't think we've tapped on that one yet. And back to where we started here. This minute detail. If I can get it to uh, focus that close. Of the skull and crossbones on the one side. And the owl on the right side in the middle of that X that's used by Imagine Dragons and Ed Sheeran and others. But if you listen to Call for an Uprising, that's the most basic sign for the devil. Yeah, that's just the basic element of that means that means Satan. You need to lose your grip from your preconceived ideas. That fear is what makes the narrow path so narrow because so many won't get over that fear and leave that shit behind. And that's why you don't get to come collect your crown. You know your crown? Just saying. You want to hang on to all that? That's that's all you. Spooky dude. <laughs> the people around here probably think I'm pretty low. That's all right. Sight, dog. Maybe they're big fans of David Bowie. Yeah, yeah. Bowie fans, maybe. Yeah, probably, huh? Yeah, probably just Bowie fans. So in the video I recently uploaded about uh, Maynard was a Mormon and the discussion I was having with Spencer about the hand basket that's around the world depicted as being part of an exchange. Right. My quilt club in Idaho challenged the members to make a basket quilt with black and white stripe handles. We all used the same block pattern. It was so interesting to see the variety of fabrics and designs. This is my interpretation. And uh, James says that those guys have been here through every one of the uh, great resets that we're currently in the midst of. I'm dropping gravy. <laughs> I think James used the term deluge. You can call it whatever you want. It's a cycle we go through. And those guys have been through the previous cycles. These guys right here, those guys, the checkerboard guys, yeah. And so they might know what was in that basket and what that exchange consisted of. And if you want to know too, and if you want to make it through this great reset, you're going to have to lose that fear that you've been indoctrinated with. Even though these people weren't told that that was part of the pattern that they were supposed to use for the handle. They still got it right in a whole bunch of examples. This is the only one of these on this entire blanket. I've looked over the entire quilt. This is not a repeat pattern that you're looking at front center screen. That is a one of a kind. on this entire quilt. It's 
So, for me to spot that little teeny tiny, little teeny tiny. The only other place it's repeated is right there. It looks like below the seam on the same piece of fabric that was used the first time. But nowhere else on here does that appear. But it is a signature. And it is there. <laughs> so you want to take a journey with me? On the road less traveled? That insectilian humanoid that was woven into the tapestry of the quilt that I started this video with is not just something random from her imagination. And I say her, assuming it was a woman, because most of these are done by the Relief Society, who, as we've shown, has a male counterpart that we call Freemasons. Therefore, they are all Order of the Eastern Star ladies. And that humanoid insect that was woven into the, that was, that was produced as an image on that first tapestry is not just something imaginary from her sketchbook. We're in a state where they have the beehive as their logo, and that insect looked close to maybe a scarab beetle. So do you want to journey the road less travel or maintain your walk down the path well beaten by the drones and clones of society? Or lose your fear and come on baby take a chance with us or it hurts to set you free but you'll never follow me. I'm sure that's just a flower but it is on most of these. Maybe there's a reason they chose a flower with that type of uh, pattern. Pulling back from all the truth drops, that could be yin yang, that could be a DNA double helix fitting that way. Well, let's go down here and check out this one. It's a mom reading to her child, told once upon a time. And the intricacy of this artwork is so high level. Here you have Miss Green talking to the student. Um, I'll just get you some still frames and then point out to you what I can see. Dinosaur. Right, looking back down at this dude, dinosaur. Some witches. One, two, three. Right. <clears throat> the old one eye symbolism. Without a doubt. Illuminati confirmed. There's a lion screaming at a dude. There's what's his name? Elmo? No, I forget his name. Grover? Yeah, Grover. So there's some cows, and the almonds are nutty, the pretzels are twisted, uh, the Swiss cheese yodeled. So right now I'm just showing you that the, uh, the high level artwork that goes into this is just incredible. There's some more witches. And so granted these are all supposed to be stories that they tell kids with the fairies. So of course none of it represents reality. It's all, uh, pretend it's all in your mind. Pretending the weather's all in your mind. Right? It's all in my dome. All in your dome. Uh, maybe a crocodile? 
and some more. This one might even have the crown. Yep, that one's the crowned, crowned croc. Right? But it's just kid stories, right? Totally, it's just kid stories. There's nothing real about any of this. It's all in your mind, man. <laughs> There's Winnie Pooh taking a dump. That's his thoughtful spot. Actually, he's sitting on a log, that's what it is. <laughs> here's another sore. There's the head looking back down that way, and here's the neck. And I'm not sure if Miss Green is a rat or a sore. Maybe that's from a childhood book that you remember. But lest we forget, this is all like childhood storybook stuff. This is probably a self-portrait of the artist who made this quilt. All right. All the X's. Got some Smurfs. And the Bernstein Bears, or is it Bernstein Bears? Go ahead and go off on that Mandela effect in the comment section. Some wizardry. Ribbit. Ribbit. So this ain't truth drop time. I'm just showing you the high level of artistry that goes into this. And my heart goes out to the artist who pours their heart and soul into this and people come and glance at it and then move on. I mean, just like the plasma trees. I poured my heart and soul into that and people just Definitely do not, uh, it's an insult, that's what it is, it's an insult. The level of appreciation that most people have for this is an insult to the creator of the art. But they continue to pour their heart and soul into it anyway, even though the people don't appreciate it like pearls to swine. Bags. <laughs> That's funny. I can't stand listening to people's comments. So, the quilt that we started with the insectalian, maybe we should love all of them, like it says right there on the placard. Reptilians, insectalians, don't be a human supremacist. Or a mammal supremacist or any other division or sect of the kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, or species that you think is somehow superior to the others because it's about consciousness and consciousness comes in all vessels. The kingdom of heaven is here and you can expect to see things that vary in a wide range of physical attributes but they all have very, very similar, similar characteristics when it comes to their consciousness. They're all loving, and you don't get into the kingdom of heaven otherwise.
Y'all know this is a calling card of those who make it through the deluge, right? For those who can see, to others it's just pretty pictures, like Matt says from Quantum Consciousness. Just, just pretty pictures. It's not just pretty pictures. That's a business card. And it's titled, It's All a Game. And remember, it's not only checkerboard within checkerboard and a checkerboard black and white edge. It's all the circles that are made by a compass and the squares that are made by a square, which are the other emblem besides the checkerboard that represent those guys that make it through all the deluge. And so this one here is a larger circle within a larger square. And these ones here are like squares with rounded corners. Again, both representing the tool with which you draw curves or circles or rounded corners and the tool with which you draw right angles. So everything there is a calling card, every single part of it. It's an insectilian with human feet and human arms. <laughs> 